Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I know it's been a long gap ever since my last video. And I think you might be knowing the reason for it. We were in Qatar spending our Eid vacation with my elder brother and family. Enjoyed thoroughly. All are a bit emotional as we are back in Muscat. I was not able to edit or upload any videos from there. All I did was taking videos, glimpses of how we spent and I wanted to spend the rest of the time with my nieces. Hence decided that I'll edit and upload this video after we are back in Muscat. That's why so much chilly. So this video starts on the last day of the holy month of Ramadan this year. It was our second day in Doha. As I said in my previous video, I am here or we are here after seven long years. The last time I was here was just few months before the blockade. So we are visiting Qatar after so long and there are so many changes in this beautiful country. My brother ordered iftar kits from Zaytun restaurant. We picked it up and straight went to the Cornish. The weather was too good. We enjoyed experiencing the sunset. After spending a few hours there, we went to meet our friend Shamnath Bhai and his family, whom I had mentioned in my previous video. They came to pick us and we first went to their residence. After some time, we had dinner together at MRA restaurant. It was a night well spent with them. My brother had some last minute Eid shopping, so they were busy with that. Eid was declared to be on the next day in Qatar. While I was editing my previous video, Nisri already started Eid preparations. It was late night. She started with preparing Kheer first. If you had seen my previous vlog, you would probably know about Akbar, my brother's very dear friend who came to pick us up at the airport. He does have a meat shop. To be honest, and nothing sponsored or any paid promotion here, this is my honest review. The meat we bought from his shop was really good. So, I would highly recommend anyone in Qatar to get your meat from his shop, Khan Sahib. I will share the number on the screen and in the description. Nesri cooks really delicious food and the meat enhanced the flavor of the biryani. It was extremely scrumptious. After coming back from the Eid car, we all had a good nap. That's an Eid gift for Arman from my brother. It's a watch. Nasri was with the baby, so I served the biryani. It was too delicious. I couldn't take the preparation video as I was editing my previous vlog and Nasri had already started the preparation. My Eid dress is from a boutique in Muscat named Thread by Ansi. As we already had some good sleep before lunch, we got out fresh and fine after some photo shoots. We have never seen the new version of Doha, so we thought to explore a bit and it ended on the last day of our vacation this time. My brother first drove through the streets of Kanat Kortia of the Pearl, which had beautiful bright colored Venetian style houses. It actually was made like Venice with canals connected by bridges. Very beautiful location and we even clicked a few pictures. In fact, we clicked pictures from almost everywhere we went. From there we went to Medina Central. It looked almost like we were driving through some streets in a European country. <laughs> yeah. 
took a walk through the streets and it made us feel like we are in some other country doha has changed completely Later we went to Katara to see the fireworks. Fireworks were happening at different locations. We chose to be at Katara. We had plenty of time, had tea and some snacks, relaxed in the beautiful weather and enjoyed the fireworks. For dinner had Turkish cuisine from Turkish Central Restaurant. Late at night just before returning home we went to meet our neighbor in Kerala who is also the son of the sister who used to come home for helping me if you have watched my onam vlog from Kerala you can see her felt really good to meet someone from our homeland The night before we had already planned that the next day we'll go to places to refresh our memories from childhood and I did want to take you all as well to see the places that are very nostalgic for me. I guess whoever was in Qatar guess 10 or 12 years back or even more than that will definitely relate to the feeling I have while I take you all through those glimpses. It's where I spent my childhood and school. I was in Qatar from the early 90s and passed out from school in 2004 after my 12th grade. The whole of this time, me, my parents and siblings were residing in Misaid, formerly known as Umsaid. My father was working for Casco, later named Qatar Steel. So we used to live in the company accommodation. We didn't have a school bus to Misaid because of the distance. Company transport was provided. And anyone living in Doha would not come Misaid often other than for the beach. It was far but it isn't far anymore now the roads have changed early from school after a certain point we had quite some time to take a nap but now we reach soon and that's strange but i'll say misaid or formerly named umsaid hasn't changed much it's almost the same The reason why I'm showing the road is for those who miss this place and haven't been to Qatar ever since for a long time and that includes most of my friends themselves. This is a new mall here and seeing this for the first time we didn't have any such malls in Umsaid earlier. These villas are still the same and no change. That's our grand mosque in Umsaid. I used to go for Friday prayers and tarawih sometimes. Those are QP accommodations, formerly named QGPC, and now Qatar Energy. Not sure if these accommodations are vacant or full, because the flats where we used to reside are completely empty. Nobody lives there anymore, and it's not just for Qatar Steel; it's even for Capco. If I had the chance or permission I would have definitely shown you all how spacious the flats we had the rooms were big how I wish I lived in such an apartment now so that I could arrange it well and there is our building we were in C block I'm sure my parents especially my mom will have tears in their eyes when they see this our bus came to this spot and my mom used to watch us leave for school 
gone are such beautiful days and now are beautiful memories i was shooting this video keeping my friends in my mind who used to live here i'm still in touch with a few of them that's b block with seven floors k block with seven floors again and d block with five floors just like me rihan has some infant memories though both of them were born in qatar only rihan remembers his flat arman was too young for it Here is the Al Rim Club of Capco, formerly named Dana Club. I used their gym facility the last time when I came here. We took a round expecting to get in, but I guess due to security reasons, barricade was placed. Let me take you through some more areas of my childhood. This was Al Mahal Club. Heard there was a fire breakout, and ever since then it's closed. Lots of beautiful memories here. We used to have family programs, iftar parties, hang out with friends, and many more. And that's another mosque where we used to walk and come for tarawees mostly. Here there used to be Kafco Primary School. My younger brother had done his primary classes here, and then he moved to MES in Doha. Just like Casco, Capco, and QP, there's another company, Kafco. This is their family accommodation. And these villas are still the same. Now these villas came way later. Some were given options to change from the flats to these villas. Qatar Steel had a bachelor accommodation which we used to call dormitory. Had heard it's demolished and here it was located. Can't even recognize the place. It's completely flat here. You can see the road there and it's blocked. We used to have company programs like sports day, casco day in that compound. So that's a long story made short of how and where my childhood was spent. Beautiful memories I can always cherish. Then comes to my school. This is where I have spent my whole school life. MES Indian School from 1st standard till 12th grade. Sections were separate, girls and boys. My kindergarten was done in private in Umsaid at a teacher's residence. Guess it was allowed then. I and my siblings all completed our schooling here. We were sure we would not be able to enter the premises but just a ray of hope we went to ask the security Unfortunately we couldn't because it's closed for Eid holidays only during school timing we are allowed Anyways just took a video and left Next went to meet our family friend who is a mutual friend in many ways She is Neetu Salim She is my senior in college. She joined as a teacher in the same college and was Nasri's one of the subject teachers. My husband knows her family so they are family friends and her late father was my father's schoolmate. So we know her and her family in many ways. A common friend for all of us. 
so we couldn't go without meeting her unfortunately we couldn't meet her mother who was also there but they had other engagements on the same day later that night went to sook wakif this was a very much crowded place but what is the fun of going to a boring place with no crowd i would definitely enjoy more in a crowded place where you get to see lots of activities and programs this festive season We all were feeling a bit peckish so shared the Middle Eastern crepes that were prepared live in the traditional way. We ordered fillings with egg, Nutella and cheese. After having dinner, went straight back home. Nasri gets this guilty feeling of not cooking anything for us. So for breakfast, she had already started preparing. Kerala putu and black chana curry. It's not at all easy for her to cook alone for us, especially with the baby. That's why we prefer eating out. Anyways, while she was with the baby, I cleaned up the countertop and did the dishes. Kids had been insisting my brother play Uno cards from yesterday, so we all joined and played three rounds. My brother loves to keep the kids engaged with some of the other activity. That's why they love him so much. Later, went out to Bakra Sook, spent some time, and came back home. It was a relaxed day. <laughs> Mina district is a place that makes us feel like Greece or Spain or I don't know where. have seen similar colored buildings in pictures this place is the best for hang out or relaxing with friends and family the weather was beautiful the location is seaside and that makes it give a calm atmosphere arman is a shahrukh khan fan and as usual with the smooths
This is a tourist destination with cafes, restaurants, shops, hotel apartments and many more. This place can even be seen from a distance especially in the morning because of the colorful buildings. They have used kind of pastel colors, very light and bright. What attracted me was this luxuriously looking fish shop. It had those vibrant blue colors which looked more like on a Turkish side. They provide free cleaning as well and the cost of fish are reasonable. There were men here and they served kawa. There are dates kept in a bowl nearby and I did eat one just that I didn't take a video of it. I hope you can see there was an Oman air flying behind about to land. Free cotton candy given to kids. On the same day, we decided to spend a night over at any beach to experience the sunrise. We went to Dukan Beach. Though I have spent my whole childhood 12 years in Qatar, it was my first time at Dukan Beach. It was a bit cold due to the cool breeze and that stopped me to get inside the water. The water was freezing cold as well. But kids enjoyed themselves with my brother. On the way back home, my brother found this location of an amazing artwork on Google which was nearby. When you first look at it, it looks like some pipes are circled and left as such. This is called Shadows Travelling on the Sea of the Day and the creator of this piece is Olafur Eliasson. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. He is the same architect for the Qatar Museum in the Desert Rose Shape. We'll show that in some time. The 20 circular shelters. Three single rings and two double rings that make up this site. They are, however, positioned according to the axis of a five-fold symmetrical pattern with ten shelters at the center forming a pentagram. The underside of the circular roofs is covered with mirror panels reflecting the curved segment of pipe that supports the roof. This creates a visual illusion of the pipes doubling into full rings, linking the real landscape with the reflected space. Visitors standing in the shade of the roof may glimpse themselves and their surroundings reflected upside down in the roofs above. You can google to read more about this amazing creative work. Anyways, we came back home and slept really well till evening. All then woke up fresh. Later we went to visit our relative at their residence. We had dinner from there which we weren't expecting. This is Junesh. He is one talented person who makes stuff that leaves us stunning.
He is making this Iron Man suit and has already made this mask. <laughs> That's really amazing. I shall share his Instagram page so that you can have a look. After leaving from there, we went to Lucille Boulevard, which already looked very festive. My brother told me that this place during FIFA was so crowded that you couldn't walk without touching each other. How I wished I was here for FIFA, but unfortunately, I couldn't come. The best part of this area is that it's completely safe to walk with no fear of vehicles. You walk till the end and experience so much on the way. An attraction for all visitors with lighting, decoration installations, screen, content activations, street performances and live performances. This place is close to Lucille Metro and Lucille Stadium. What I missed to experience which I wanted to try was a metro in Qatar. It was under construction the last time I was here. came to MRA restaurant for having our authentic Kerala meals with fish fry. My brother joined us for lunch during his lunch break as his office started on this day. My husband had some shopping to be done. Nesri wanted to go home to put the baby to sleep and shopping will be hectic with the baby. And Arman joined them because he didn't want to come shopping. So my brother dropped them home and he went back to office. Meanwhile, the rest of us went to DFC, Doha Festival City for his shopping. We spent some time there. I took pictures with my knees while my husband was shopping with Rihan. On the same night, we were invited to my cousin's place for dinner. She stays at Pearl Qatar and the view from her balcony is amazing. She had insisted badly to come home before sunset to experience its beauty and I can imagine how beautiful it would be. Unfortunately, we couldn't reach by that time. Anyways, we had a feast served, most of them cooked by her and some ordered. Later went down and it was amazing. It's really surprising that we weren't tired until we are home. The moment we reach home, all we want is just go to bed. Until then, we explored whatever activities or programs were happening in Doha. The same night, we went to Doha Lights as this would end on the same day. The place was completely shining as it was full of lights and that was a different experience.
Now this is the Qatar Museum I said before that was made inspired by the desert rose. And it was the same architect who created the shadows traveling piece of work. I didn't want to capture each and everything here because it should be experienced oneself by coming here. More than the pieces shelved there, I was fascinated by the interior of the museum and its beauty. Kids did have activities there, so they don't feel bored as well. I don't know if you can see this, this is completely made with pearls. I hope you can see how pretty it is, but it's even more beautiful to the eyesight. Kids were really amazed to see these telephones, which I don't think they have ever seen live rather than in movies or pictures. Rehan was amazed to see these. I wish I could show him Walkman, which he had asked me once. I don't know where to find that. It wasn't in the museum or I don't know if I missed it. This is another amazing work. As the year passes, they show how the development of the country was progressing. This was another side of the museum where you see lights hanging. It actually takes you to a different world being here. The music played here is so calm and relaxing. We had less time but in case you are visiting here anytime, do sit on the couch there and watch these lights for some time. You feel very relaxed and refreshed. And that's a cave where they have installed fake sounds of bats and more. I hope you remember me telling you in my last year's Dubai vlog when we had gone on a yacht ride. One of our very dear friends is a partner of this. They do have a yacht here in Qatar as well. This is something I find really peaceful when we go for it. We had almost two and a half hours of ride on the Qatar waters. Very peaceful, very relaxing and was refreshing. The rates depend on the packages you choose. We were welcomed with a tray of fruits, chips and drinks. It was amazing to see how this includes a small living area with a small kitchen, a bedroom with bath attached and one bathroom for common. My favorite spot is upstairs. Here you have the couch to lie and enjoy the beauty of the sea and the shore. You just have to be a bit careful while coming to the friend side but once you are here, you will not want to go back. This is a soft cushioned bed kind where you lie and enjoy the sky or sea. So if you are in Qatar and are really interested in getting some me time or spending time with friends or family, I would highly recommend this. You can contact them on the number provided in the description box or on the screen and enjoy a ride. Next day, as soon as we woke up, it was almost time for lunch and we were invited by my husband's cousin and family to their residence for a delicious lunch treat. I had almost forgotten to take videos as we were busy chatting.
From there we went straight to the purple island. Not sure why it's called the purple island but had got to experience the scenic beauty of sunset. Later we drove to downtown Doha. Next day, I got to meet my childhood friend Samra. I did meet my other friend Aisha who came to visit me but unfortunately we forgot to take picture. Samra was in Dubai and must get for her Eid holidays and she was back on the previous day of this day and we were leaving to Masjid tonight. So happy that we met. She came home and met everyone. Later we went for a drive and sat at a coffee shop. I almost forgot that I was leaving that night and had to get back home for the last minute packing and stuff. It was so refreshing to meet your school friend and have a rejoice with school memories. And then the most emotional part, leaving family. This time it was like leaving home. I have visited many countries in my life, but Qatar is always a home for me. This country had always given us the warmth and shelter when we were here. And meeting my brother and family after two years was so exciting that I made sure I spent each moment with them to the fullest. We are still getting back on track in Muscat and I shall get back to my routine vlog soon. Hope you all had a great time watching my video. Take care everyone. See you with another video. Until then, bye-bye.